Hi, I'm Terry from Mr. Locksmith, and this is the top 10 security tips for securing your business during the holidays. Lock your doors. It's amazing how many businesses are unlocked after employees leave or you leave. The crooks are shake, walking around, shaking the doors, seeing what's open. It's amazing how many businesses are unlocked at night. So lock your doors, secure your windows, and check it, make sure everything. It's amazing how many people do not lock their doors during the holidays or during any time of the year. When you're rekeying your locks, it's a good time to go to a restricted or high security key and lock system. When you use these systems like Abloy, Medico, Primus, what happens is the keys are restricted and only for sale to locksmiths. You're not going to be able to walk into the local hardware store with a Medico key and get it cut by the local hardware store or the shoemaker who cuts keys. When you stamp do not copy or do not duplicate on a common key like Slage, Slage, Quickset, or Wiser, it's a waste of time. The local hardware stores have those key blanks and the little shoemakers on the corner, they will cut those keys. Do not copy, do not duplicate, stamped on a key is a waste of time. You have a high security restricted key blank, they are never ever sold to the local hardware store or the Home Depots or anybody except for locksmiths who are security cleared and qualified they're the only ones with those restricted keys. So get a high security restricted key system. When you give it to staff, if when they leave or whatever, when they hand you back that key, you know they have not had that cut anywhere. Alarm systems are not the big deterrent anymore. They were 10, 15, 20 years ago. You could put an alarm sticker on your business and the crooks wouldn't bother with your business. However, now they're breaking in, they don't care. They're gonna get in quick, and get out. But you still need an alarm system. The alarm system will scare them off or at least them know it's time to go. Alarm systems should be monitored. They're not as expensive as they used to be. You can get a good quality alarm system and monitored for a very fair price. When it's monitored, the police never show up. No matter what they tell you, unless you're in a small town, in any of the major cities, a alarm on a business or a home that's called into the police is a low, low priority. They're so busy, they're not gonna go out. If you wanna be really secure, you have your monitoring station, then contact security guard company or a runner service that when the alarm goes off for a small fee, they show up at the business, they look inside, check the doors. If you've been broken into, they call the police. The police will respond to a security guard or a runner service saying, in progress, or, it's been broken into, they will show up. So an alarm system with a runner service is the way to go. Cameras will not stop break-ins. However, they are good for an investigative aid for the police after the fact. And a lot of times these burglars, these criminals, are hitting business after business. When, they when the police have video to view, then they have some evidence to tie them to the crime. So it's an investigative aid. Again, it won't stop crime, but it's great for the police to use. Or even yourself when you're viewing the video, sometimes you're amazed it's a former staff, current staff, or someone you know. It's always amazing when you're looking at the video and you go, oh shoot, I know who they are. If you have a retail business or a restaurant, take your empty till at the end of the night and put that till drawer and put it at the front door. If you can look inside, put it on the floor, put it against the door, say no cash on premises. It is amazing how many businesses leave money in the till. They think, oh, you have the change, you have a few bills. There's still usually 20 or 100 bucks, which makes a crackhead or a meth head happy. Take your till, empty it, put it by the front door. Show no cash on premises. That is just amazing that will slow down the criminals they have to really want to come in. Fire safes and burglar safes are two different things. A fire safe will protect your business records, a burglary safe will protect your valuables and cash. If you're paying under $300 for a safe, it's not a burglary safe. Good quality burglary safes are expensive and they're rated as burglary safes. Too many businesses are going to the local store buying a inexpensive fire safe and then throwing money or jewelry in it. It's amazing what I see inside some of these fire safes. If you've seen my other videos, 
you know the inexpensive safes, fire safes, shouldn't even call them safes, are super easy to open. And with a crowbar or a large screwdriver, you know, they pop left, right, and center. Don't put a fire safe to protect your valuables. Realize fire safe is for protecting documents from fire. Get a burglary safe. There's lots of information on my website and other places to get good quality burglary resistant safes. One thing that's overlooked is a gun safe for your business. Gun safes are big, they're not that expensive, and you don't have to put guns in them. They're a huge container that's very secure, even an inexpensive gun safe. Have that tucked away in the back and put some of your valuables in there. You're gonna slow down the burglars, they're gonna get into it, but it just slows them down. Gun safes are fantastic for large items or just a lot of little stuff that's not really expensive, but you don't wanna lose. Anchor the gun safe to the floor or the wall or both. Facebook and social media. Be careful, when you go on vacation and you're putting postings, we're closed because we're going to Hawaii, you're telling every burglar in town that you're, the business is, no one's there, uh, you're going to be away. They can see how long you're going to be away for. I know it's difficult. We all love our social media. I like to post pictures of you on the beach to the people in 40 below with snow. But be careful with your social media, what you're posting, because they're going to know the business is closed, you're away, and they'll also know your home is, is you're not at home either. So be careful with social media, what you post especially when you're ex extended vacations or away. So I hope these top 10 and a little bit more security tips to securing your business during the holiday seasons has been uh, good and uh, lots of information for you. So I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Subscribe to my channel. Also visit my website and you can see what online locksmith training I have for beginners, intermediate and advanced as well as my covert methods of entry and my non-destructive methods of entry.